Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going to do a couple videos for you guys. The first one we're going to go over a 24 foot Logan stock combo, and then we're going to go over a 24 foot Cimarron stock combo so you guys can kind of see the differences between each trailer. So to start off, this is a 2020 Logan Coach stock combo. It's 24 foot on the floor. It is seven foot tall, seven three wide. And we'll just kind of walk around this one and we'll go over the Cimarron and kind of compare them and go over the differences a little bit. Under the nose of this trailer, pretty simple. We just have a spare tire as well as our manual jack. This jack can be upgraded to a, an electric or a hydraulic jack here in our shop. Or if you have a trailer you want those upgraded on as well, we can do that for you as well. Coming up to your front tack room or your dressing room of this stock combo. On this door we do have your fold out blanket bars as well as a brush box. Coming into this trailer you will notice that the floor and the, up the deck up the nose is fully carpeted. Big bus windows also with the light up there. If you did want to put a bed up there or something similar to that stay in this if you're going down the road or something for a night or a weekend you could do that as well there's also a little clothes rod up there if you're hanging clothes going to a show or you know a lot of people use these stock combos for going hunting or something like that you can hang your hunting clothes and stuff like that right there there's a floor jack right there that is included with the trailer and there's a handy dandy little step to get you up in the nose right here is your four tier saddle rack this also does fold out on a piston, real easy to fold out. Up here on your partition wall, we do have all your bridle hooks, as well as fully carpeted behind those bridle hooks, just to keep your bridles or clothes, whatever you hang there, from scratching up that wall at all. So these trailers, all this lining you'll see, you'll see it here and in the back, it'll have this black vortex lining. And again, that just kind of helps protect that you know, that aluminum, that steel extrusions that are sticking out from getting scratched up, dinged up. Kind of increases, increases the life of this trailer a little bit. The other thing you'll notice about this trailer is there is an escape door in this stock back. I really like that they put an escape door in the stock back because you never know what you're hauling. If you're hauling cattle, horses, whatever you're hauling back here, a lot of times when you haul cattle, they're real unpredictable like horses, and you can end up in a bind where you might actually need to use this door more than you would a horse door. So I think it's real important that they include these on this stock combo. It's nice to have the passenger side too, because you can on the highway. It is also nice that it is on the, you know, your passenger side of your truck. That way, if you do need to pull off on the highway and you're in a bind, or you have horses or something like that, you're not standing on the vehicle side of the highway. Coming down the side, you do have your four tie rings. You'll, know, you'll notice these do have steel wheels with your aluminum hub, hub covers. This trailer is riding on two 7,000 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles. Up top, you do have your eight inch awning light. And you will notice that there is no plexiglass inserts. We ordered this trailer to not come with inserts. Um, if you wanted them done, I'm sure we could get them done here in the shop and get some plexiglass inserts to be installed here for you guys. Coming around the back of the trailer, you'll notice again this whole trailer is just covered in that vortex lining, just increasing the, you know, the life of this trailer is going to be great. It's not going to get scratched up, it's not going to get dinged up, and if it is, it's just going to be in this lining, not the actual metal itself. Um, up top into this trailer, you do have your load light as well as your license plate light. You'll notice it's just one big slam gate back here, and I'll demonstrate that here in a little bit, just how useful them slam gates are. Um, before I jump up in here, I'll talk about the floor a little bit. This is Logan's uh, Sure Grip flooring. What it is, it's a rubber. You know, it's a hard rubber flooring, but it allows the urine from your horses or cattle, whatever you're hauling, to soak through this and 
through your whiz proof flooring in the bottom, you'll notice that there's some gaps right there. Those gaps are sealed to the metal of the trailer, so it won't rot at the metal when it runs through. It'll just run right through them gaps and down to the road. Keeps this trailer really clean. I mean, you can spray it out, pour some baking soda, and never have to worry about actually spraying and drying it out. It'll just all drain to the floor. Up in this trailer, it does have this center gate, which is also a slam gate, which I think is really nice, because you can throw caps in there and just slam it and it's shut. And for the outside, I'll show you where that lever is again. It's real nice. You can pretty much operate both gates from the outside of this trailer, so you're not in here with the cattle, you know, trying to get you hurt or maybe get your cattle hurt if you get them all wound up. You notice the roof of this trailer is slightly bowed. And what that does is just keeps water running off the trailer versus sitting up there and rotting at your seals. Or if you do get a nick or a ding up there, it's not going to start rusting or anything like that because it'll just run off. Again, it's just vortex lined everywhere. Your back wall is vortex lined. Your inside's vortex lined. Anywhere that you're going to have a horse or something rubbing is vortex lined in these trailers, which is just real nice. Also, I don't know if you can see it, Cherish. You can see there are some dents and dings on this roof. We did get a little hailstorm through here a couple weeks ago, nothing major, but this trailer is marked down. I mean, we can pass the savings along to you guys if this trailer is something you're interested in. Coming down your tail wall, you do have two LED lights as well. This trailer is just real simple, a real good using trailer for you guys. And I'll show you guys just how this outside slam gate works real quick. It's real easy because you can load cattle. You don't have to worry about running up to your cattle or, you know, running the gate around a corner or something. You can just slam it and everything's locked in there. It does also have a paddle latch right here. So when you do shut that gate, it's not just a pin holding it because you're going down the road, something can bump this and your door will open back up. And with that paddle latch is what it does. It just kind of keeps that door more secure for you guys. You do have your five tie outs again on this side versus the four on the other side. And again, here's that latch I was telling you all about earlier. So what you can do, that middle gate inside, when you hit this, that middle gate will just swing open by itself on the inside and it keeps you from having to run in the trailer and open it. It's a real usable trailer, real simple trailer. It just makes it real handy for you guys. And up top, there is another one of those eight inch awning lights. And again, it's just open side slats all the way around. We didn't order this trailer with plexiglass, but we sure can get plexiglass for you guys if that's something you wanted on this trailer. And again, I mean, it's a real good using trailer. It does have some hail damage. Um, so if this is a trailer you were interested in before, but maybe it was just a little bit out of your price range, you might want to look at it again. It might be down there right where you need it to be. If you are interested in this trailer, the stock number for this trailer is 5N190908, and again, it's a 2020 Logan Coach stock combo, 24 foot on the floor. We will be coming back to you again here shortly with another video. We're going to go over a 24 foot Cimarron as well and kind of compare them. Thanks for tuning in.